maybe a moment that felt bad. I don't know if you have any stories on, on either one of those, I'd love to hear them. Yeah. Um, this was kind of a mix of good and bad, but so that first year, I think it was before you were in, we had gotten an order from a guy. It was for like $20,000, which was a, a big order for yeah. us back then. And he pays us, we ship it, you know, it, it's delivered. Everything's fine. We go on our way. And then we hear from him like a week later that, you know, I was out of town. I, there's no gold here. You know, I don't know what happened here. And again, we were so naive. We didn't even have like shipping insurance back then. So right. this, there was just nothing there. Um, so we dug in pretty far and we're like, you know, UPS has the GPS coordinates on your doorstep. You know, the driver has signed an affidavit that he delivered it there, you know, all this stuff. But this guy just kept digging in harder. And he he did this like, there's a site called ripoffreport.com okay. where anyone can go on there and file like, hey, this per company or person screwed me. And he did that. And we were so early that like there were no Jamboy and reviews anywhere. So when people searched that, that was the number one thing that came up. And it, it immediately hit us like probably 30% of our sales just wow. fell off. Because every in the gold space, everyone checks. Right. Like they're always worried about getting, you know, rug Scammed. pulled. Yeah. yeah. So it was really hurting us. And um, this guy then went into like this kind of sob story of, you know, that was my kid's college fund. If my kid's not gonna be able to go to college. You're you're gonna ruin his life unless you make this right, whatever. And I was really starting to stress about this. You know, that's not a good feeling. And I don't know this person, but you wouldn't want anyone to, to feel like that. So as this draws on and we're not finding a conclusion, UPS basically is like, we delivered it. You know, we're washing our hands of this thing. Um, I had caved in and I was like, I'm gonna personally write this guy a check for 20 grand. <laughs> and that, that would have been like the end of my checking account right there. <laughs> and because I, I couldn't even sleep at night, I was feeling so much guilt about this. And so I had, I drafted the email that I was gonna send to him and I was like, I'm gonna sleep on this one more night just to be sure. And that morning I woke up and UPS had gone with the police to his house. And as soon as the police were there, he found it in his closet. <laughs> <laughs> so that one had a, a you know a happy ending, thankfully. But uh, that was another learning moment for us of like, okay, well, obviously we need to figure out the the delivery and insurance side <laughs> <Right>. of this business. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anything for painful, you? painful lessons painful learned, lessons but you gotta learned. do it. Yeah. So I think uh, one would be uh, face boom and face the, or, Facebook.com.com. <laughs> Wait, what? okay, so what are these? <laughs> so at the time, originally, it was the Facebook.com. That was, you know, Facebook's domain name. And, you know, I was in college, so I was part of it. And eventually they dropped the the. And I knew, like, right away, I was like, I'm going to domain squat on things that they're going <laughs> to type wrong. You know, Paradise Poker, you know, same thing, but I'm going to do it for Facebook. So I got the K is by the M. So that's why I registered Facebook. Like on the keyboard. The on K. the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're a man of science. Yes, I, I yes. didn't even realize the precision that you took to this. And then, you know, people forget Facebook. the dot. <laughs> so they, you know, they, you know, end up putting the com and then dot com again. And the crazy thing about it was I got to see basically Facebook's like Gross. crazy yeah. hockey stick. By the way, I just went to Facebook.com. You know where it goes? I have no idea. Facebook. <laughs> it goes to Facebook now. <laughs> they, they also figured this out. <laughs> yeah, so they, they might have figured it out one way, but at the time, I actually ended up selling Faceboom.com for like 20K. You know, someone came and was like, hey, there's a lot of traffic coming here. You know, at that time, you'd have just like, you know, PPC type ads, just like really basic text link ads. And you'd make like, you know, a 10 cents per click, but there was enough traffic where it made it worthwhile. Um, so I sold it to them and I was like, sweet. I still have, you know, facebook.com.com. <laughs> I'm excited to sell this one. But little did I know, like a big old packet of papers comes from Facebook and they're like, hey, that's our trademark. Right. Do you want to fight this or do you want to hand it over? And it was a very easy choice to give them the domain right. name. So at least I got to sell one of them. That's, yeah. that's pretty good. Did you, gotta, you, uh, you got to tell the I switch story. <laughs> what was that one? Well, I almost went blind, <laughs> or at least I thought I was. I thought this was going to be a misspelling, like <laughs> not twitch.com, I twitch. <laughs> so like on my first company, you know, the regulator said, as I mentioned, you can't do offshore. If you're going to do regulated, you have to do regulated. And one of my competitors, I think, told on me and said, I think Kendall's doing both. And so I was like, hmm. Okay. And so I didn't know any of this. And I was at an industry conference and one of the regulators was like, hey, well, I'd like to meet you for coffee. And I was like, all right, is this something I should be worried about? Right. He's like, no, 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 just, just come. It's, it's like when Chris Hansen's like, hey, <laughs> pizza's inside, come on in. <laughs> you don't go for the pizza. Yeah. 